You guys, it's <clears throat> four o'clock in the morning, Sunday. It is February 27th, and I am watching Kalani. Woke up to feed the littles as <clears throat> Teresa would call them, and couldn't go back to sleep, so made myself a cup of coffee and decided to turn on my camera. And you see snow come in, but that's Kalani laying there. <clears throat> she had been standing for quite a while, so I love, love, love these cameras. Love them. Anyways, we might be on Baby Watch today. Hi everyone, welcome back to Hanson Everdone Farms. We're out here with the chickens, and they're doing really good out here. Hey boys. What are you guys doing? Oh, they're busy eating. So, well, let's take a little run around here. I think we got nine roosters that we're going to be taking care of and put them in the freezer. So we're going to pick one. So we'll have a total of two roosters. And these other ones have been beating up the girls pretty good. And, and uh, so that's why they're going to go in the freezer camp, I guess. And then in here. Oh, there's one chicken in there. And we usually get between 4 and 11 eggs, depending on how cold it is. But they're pretty good in here. And of course, Arisha's up <clears throat> up there, taking care of the goats. I'm going to head up there pretty soon. The boys are doing really good. Hey, Case. <clears throat> what are you doing, Cash? I'm eating right now. That's fine. But they're doing really good. It's going to be a really nice day today. There's the sunrise. That's beautiful up there. But everything else, got a lot of stuff to do today. Um, trying to get everything uh, put up and cleaned up. And uh, we're going to, sooner or later, we're going to try to get rid of this uh, brush pile. Try to burn it or chip it. And I was thinking about doing a little bit of chipping maybe next week, supposed to be pretty nice next week up in the 60s and 70s and so I can go ahead and trim the rest of this uh, hedge row get it all nice gotta take some fence posts down over there um, my chipper, I gotta get my chipper running, I got my cement mixer over there and mix up some uh, grain and then put them in uh, some barrels and uh, show you on that a little bit later when I get to that point but we'll head up here and see what the goats are doing hey kitty what are you doing come on let's go About 24 degrees this morning, a lot better than uh, 15 and 12. What are you girls doing? Huh? Well, good morning. Elsa is doing a little bit better in letting me milk her. 
Doing a lot better? Yes. Good. Our rule is, if she's done, we're done. She pretty full? Yeah. <clears throat> like she used to be. What are you doing? What are you doing, Minnie? Huh? Well, we still haven't came up with a name for her. <laughs> haven't really thought about really it. Really haven't really thought about it, huh? Uh-uh. <laughs> Elsa had one and doe, and so it's kind of hard to uh, come up with a name. I just haven't really thought about it. Yeah. There's been some suggestions. What? Oh, the cat wants. They were not drinking water. Come here, kitty. <laughs> you looking for a spot to come in so you can go to your uh, food bowl? is really watching. <laughs> yeah, he's hungry. He goes in circles every time. Huh, Case. Ready to eat? Get you some. Come on, let's go. Hey, Cash. The boys are doing really good, so they're. We got to get some more hay down here for them, but they're doing really good. They like their. Alpha pellets, that's for sure. Come on, come on. A picture of the pond. We're still covered in. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Gunshots. <laughs> Welcome to Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, gunshots everywhere. <clears throat> well, I wonder if they'll follow me down. Go down to the pond and take a look at the uh, ice on the pond. So, see how much is left.
A little bit. Uh oh, chewing on, oh, dropped it. That's fine. It's about the time that they need to start figuring out the hay situation. They're sitting there going, whoa, let's see this. Huh, there's a lawnmower. Uh oh, I'm out of here. Yep. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, so today is Kalani's day 145, you guys. Checked her ligaments this morning, and she's still holding on tight, which is fine, because it's a beautiful day, and it's supposed to be a beautiful week. All the sleet and ice is starting to melt away. It was super slick up here, but still around in the shaded areas. But it's almost gone. What did we plant right there? Cover, kind of a cover crop we type? planted clover out clover. here. We threw clover seeds out. So hopefully those start sprouting with the warm up. It's supposed to be in the mid to high 70s by Thursday, which is perfect. Perfect, perfect, non-freezing night. Our little hoodlums came up to run around and stretch their legs. They have a few more days, and they're going to come up and start spending the nights with the littles. With all these babies, we're going to start separating at night, and these girls can come up and just be with them. But today is a sad day because we have to disbud. I hate this job. It's the one part of the job that I absolutely hate. Jeff hates it. But, like I've said before, we hate horns more, so disbud we must. Our two littles are ready for it. And this little girl. These are all Brina's. And we're just now starting to feel horn buds. So I know where their, their horns are going to grow. So this is the point where you do the deed. Our little guy over there, his came out pretty quickly. So we did him um, when we did the other ones. But he is, you guys, he is so, so nice looking. He's got good width. Mom still isn't that crazy about him, but he's eating, obviously. But I am just really, really, really stoked about him. He is staying on farm. We are retaining him. For the time being, I want to see how he grows out. But uh, all these kids, all Brina's kids have really, really loose skin. You can see the creases around their necks and even the girls have it and so these are going to be they are very very dairy very excited about that so they think it's time to eat but it is not we're just going to do a little bit of cleanup waiting for the disbudding iron to heat up Out here. Yeah, it gets a little muddy, but really enjoying the sun. We're back in t-shirts and normal clothes. <laughs> no more, no more thermals, at least for this week. We'll see how 
next week goes. We've got something coming in around the 15th. Hopefully it's nothing icy. There. She's really starting to fill out. Her udder's starting to take a lot more shape. I do have a little bit of a concern, you guys. Zazzy here has a nice, nice udder bump. Nice udder bump. Polly has none. So I am just not sure they were bred on the same day. So they should both be due about a month from today. I think March 26th is when they're due. And she just has absolutely nothing. And so I don't know if she even took. I've not shown, seen any signs of heat from her, but I can see all the signs out of Zazzy that she took, her udders developing, everything, but this little girl, there's nothing. So, we'll see. I'm going to get them up on the stand this next week, this week, while we're nice and give them a real, give her a real good going over. It may be something Elsa. as simple as what her mama had. If you remember, I bought Elsa in 2020, and she was sold to me as possibly bred. She had been with a buck. Within a few months, we discovered she was not bred, so we put her with our buck, and for several months, no signs of heat, no signs of breeding, nothing. And ended up taking her to our state vet. Oregon took her to Oregon uh, State Veterinary College. And they did discover a ovarian cyst. They gave her a shot for it. And then they ended up putting a cedar in her. And that was to bring her back into heat. And it worked. She, he told us within, uh, the cedar was supposed to stay in for 10 or 11 days, and he said within a few days after that was removed that she should come into heat. We saw her coming into heat actually the day before we were to remove it, and sure enough, when we removed it the next day, she was in heat and she was bred, and I believe that's why she gave us four was because she was cedared. Um, Elsa's normal litter sizes is one to two. So anyways, hopefully little Miss Polly over there hasn't got issues. All right, it's done. I hate it, but quick and easy. Got a good copper ring and once you get the copper ring, then you know the horn's not going to grow. So, our little girls got done too, you guys. I hate it. But they're fine, ha huh, honey? They were champs. It takes less than two minutes, but I know, baby girl. <laughs> but anyways, it's done. And no, they're not crying any more than they normally do when they're out here. As you can see, it's not as traumatic as it looks. It's quick, it's easy, and it's over. And they're fine. And then we don't have horns, huh, honey? I don't. I don't fault anybody for wanting horns on their goats. Horns on some goats have a purpose, but they don't on our dairy goats. So it's an individual choice. I've had some pretty mean comments before about it, and I disregard it because, as I said, it's a personal choice. And we don't do horns. But now, 
Jeff is going to go back to work in the shop. Yep, I've taken up there. too much of his time. And I'm going to do some clean out. We really bedded these guys up. And it's time to get it cleaned out again. Lay down some lime and uh, some fresh shavings. And we'll get back to you. Hi everyone, I've made it back up to the shop. I uh, got done up there uh, just budding uh, some kids up there. Just want to show you a few things I've been doing in the shop here and I'll give you a quick rundown on I got my 220 hooked up, nothing's on. Went ahead and tried everything, I went ahead and shut everything back off. But uh, that's my plug in for my welders. Everything lights up on my welders. Excited about getting that done, and then I got to change this cord here over to this one here, so I can plug that one into that right there over on that side. And what I've been doing is I got uh, 110 for my uh, lights. I got it going up and over my uh, doors, all the way down here. I routed it down to this box down here. And hopefully I get that all done. I got another box I'm going to put on the left hand side of that and then run another cord up. And there's two lights. There's my box right there. I'm going to be uh, wiring that in. Got another one right there. Another two, two lights there. That's going to be a second light switch. And at the very end down there, I'm going to do a third light switch so I can turn them on independently. So. That's what I'm working on right now, and I gotta move my valve face machine out of the way, get that out of the way so I can get in here and uh, put those up, and hopefully see what happens, see if I get uh, some of it done. This part. Okay, here we go. Woo, we have electric. Pretty big deal to have the welder turned on in your own shop, huh? <laughs> this is nice. I'm gonna blow all that off and clean it up too. Small steps. Small steps. But it's a step. Yeah, that's awesome. It's not the distance, it's the journey, huh? Yep. Step by step. All steps at a time. Yep. Next one I'm going to do is get this all. This was in. Jeff's dad's welder. He bought it in. I think it was 80, 7980, I think. And it ran your dad's welding shop. Yep. And when dad passed, Jeff got it. And it has served us very well. It's a TM400 AC and DC, DC straight and DC reverse. Nice, nice welder. We'll uh, know that your shop is operational when that bad boy is running over. again. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit, shut this off. Still got the lights to hook up, but I don't think it's gonna take too long. I gotta move all this stuff out. Yeah. Yeah, you got a little my washer and dryer needs to come in. I need to get rid of the ones that are in there. And have my own washer and dryer. A little bit later I gotta make some legs for my lathe. Get that up. And I might just put that on uh wheels so I can roll it around. Yeah, good idea. But, but all right, well, I'm going to head up and take care of okay. the nightly chores and all righty. All the kids are, they just got done eating. Oh, there's another one right there eating. This has been a lot of fun. 
Arisha's getting all the hay bags. I'll switch you real quick. Watch out. Oh, yay. I need to put hay in this wall feeder. And then we just wait for Miss Thing. Checking ligaments. She still has them. She is really soft, though. Is she? Yeah, I don't think it'll even be tomorrow. I'll be surprised. Okay, we got the buckets in. Pins are cleaned. We have another mound of spent hay to take out to the compost. But good. laid down some lime, barn lime, and some shavings. And we're ready for a little bit of warmer weather. It smells a lot better supposed, in here. Supposed to be uh, 72 or 73 tomorrow? I don't remember, probably. This is going to be pretty nice. Yeah. Really nice. But guys, something I discovered in being out here is even Snow, who was also bred to cash, threw a couple moon spotted boys. You can just see that big rusty brown spot on his shoulder. That's a moon spot. That. And then this brown and black guy on the other side, he has a silver moon spot on his neck. Not white, it's silver. So, anyways, that's three out of, no, four. I don't I lost count, but we've got moon spots where moon sh spots should not have been. So we're happy with that. Anyways, Two. are we done for the night? Yes. I think so. Well, we're done. The shop, I we're done the with shop. you guys. We still have more to do. but. Well, we'll see you on the next one, and everybody have a nice week. Thank you for watching. Hey, don't, mind, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you later. Have a good one.